Uh, Dr. Hooks is somewhere smiling today. Uh, I feel as if we have had church and three or four sermons, so we need to pass the collection. <laughs> you know, I just wanted to say, Ms. Hazel, I was a little upset uh, to learn that Dr. Hooks had a, a term of endearment for you. You, you were Hazel. Well, I want you to know that I felt that I was the only one that Dr. Hooks called by a term of endearment. And he called me a tree shaker and a jelly maker. <laughs> and you know, I have known Dr. Hooks for about 20 years. And the funny thing about Dr. Hooks is, although he knows my name is Beverly Robertson, he would call me out publicly at any event. He'd grab the podium, rear back, and say, Miss Beverly Robinson. So that was a tradition for Dr. Hooks. And whatever he called me, I responded to it. To give and not count the cost. To fight and not heed the wounds. To toil and not seek for rest, to labor, and not ask for reward. Such was the life of Dr. Benjamin Lawson Hooks. Dr. Hooks was persuasive, he was passionate, and he was powerful. In his book, The March for Civil Rights, Dr. Hooks tells us that the road from slavery to freedom has been long and arduous. He reminded us that the same Constitution that made our ancestors three-fifths of a person ultimately became that indispensable vehicle that was used to get to freedom's door. And let me tell you, Dr. Hooks didn't just knock on the door. He kicked that door in. He became the first black criminal court judge in Tennessee history. He was also one of the attorneys representing the sanitation workers in 1968 and was one of a select few African Americans who received the Presidential Medal of Freedom. Now, Dr. Hooks was persuasive. He loved preacher stories, and he often told the story about a young man who was with his father at church. The pastor was constantly looking at his watch. So the young man turned to the pastor or to his father and said, Father, what does that mean? And the father replied, well, if it's a Catholic priest, he'll be through in five minutes. If it's a Methodist minister, he'll be through at noon no matter what. But if it's a Baptist preacher, it don't mean a thing. Of course, present company excluded. <laughs> Dr. Hooks will never know the real impact and power and influence that he had on everyone's life. But I want to relate just a short story about a gentleman who attended our Freedom Award event last year, and he shares a beautiful testament that is indicative of his poignancy and his power. He sent a letter to us about the event and he explains that he's a white man who lives in Los Angeles. He was born in 1968, so he knew little about the seminal years of the movement, but somehow he felt connected to them. He decided to come south for a genuine Southern experience. He found our website, bought a ticket, to see the Dalai Lama, whom we honored last year, and he wrote the following. The Dalai Lama delivered a beautiful acceptance speech, humble, charming, funny, and right on point. I did not think that experience could get any better, but then Dr. Benjamin Hus gave the benediction. I don't know how to describe the electricity and the passion, power, and raw emotion that that benediction sent through me. 
we were holding hands and singing We Shall Overcome with folks who knew the struggle. They weren't trying to recreate some sense of history, but these people were imparting history that they themselves had lived. It was a once in a lifetime experience for me and it touched my soul in a way I can never explain. It changed me. It was the ultimate Southern experience, but more importantly, it was the ultimate American experience. So Dr. Hooks, I realize today that this is your last benediction. And as we bid you adieu, we may miss your presence, but your spirit, your tenacity, your achievements will live in, on in our lives and the lives of our children and our children's children for many generations to come. So we, those of us gathered here, may have lost a soldier, a gladiator, and a drum major for justice, but heaven is welcoming an angel. Thank you.